and we are walking in other people's path. So at one point, usually it happens in the middle of life, we ask ourselves, what's next? I want to reconnect to who I am, to do what I really meant to do, is to practice gratitude on a daily basis. I really, I started with all of my mentors and my clients, I always tell them, please start with gratitude. And a few minutes of meditation, it doesn't matter if it's 20 minutes or even three minutes, are so important. Mm -hmm. It is proven by research that when you know your purpose and you realize it, you live seven years more than people that don't know their purpose. Hi, it's Dina Manzo with Focus TV, and stay tuned to learn all you need to know about meditation. I promise you're gonna be able to meditate too. today from the Hall Center, which is a mindful medical practice here in Santa Monica, California, and I am in love with this place. But I met a new friend today. Duran is, you are a mentor to the mentors, you like to say. So tell me what that means. It means that I help mentors all around the world to increase their influence in the world. They have their mission and their purpose and they want to touch as many people as possible. And you're also a chairman of um, the, the Hall, Hall Center, Center here, which is so amazing, one of my favorite places to stop in. And tell me what you do here. You're here once a month? Yes, I'm okay. here once a month for a full week. I arrive on Sunday and I work with the Hall Center team to really help our customers, our clients, to first of all know who they are and to heal themselves with the four dimensions. It starts with the physical. This of is what course. we do here, hormone balancing. Mm -hmm. But it's also, a, you know, mental, the thoughts, the feeling, and the spiritual realm. So we really help people define and understand what is their purpose and how combine the physical and the spiritual together. They certainly work together. A, and I think that's everyone's question here. You know, at one point or another in their life, whether it's so, you know, some people need to hit rock bottom to ask that question, but there are others that just have this knowing or this burning desire inside just to find out what is my purpose here. Exactly. So you... you I develop us. a method <laughs> called walk your path. Uh -huh. When, you know, suddenly in the middle of the lives we realize that most of the decisions are made for us and not by us. And to gain control back on defining how I want to live my life and to realize it. This is very important because sometimes to know and not to do is something that Absolutely. creates a big gap and unease and you know stress. Mm -hmm. And then stress creates 70 percent of the illnesses and the visits at the doctors. So here at the whole center we really focus on balancing people's hormones and reducing the stress. Being someone in the public eye and being again publicly out of the spiritual closet where I, I talk about what the practices that I do, which a lot of people don't like to talk about it publicly, but I do. So I get a lot of emails, a lot of questions about meditation. And I have to say, you know, throughout my life, I realized I've been meditating since a very young girl in my own way. And to me, that's nature and animals. But is that okay to just do that type of meditation? Or do you have to be mindful of where you sit in silence and quiet your mind and do the breathing? I'm so thankful for this question because, you know, my community is three million people and I've been asked the same question all over again. And I believe that there is no one way to meditate, that there are probably eight billion ways to meditate and that each of us will find his own way to meditate and to reduce stress and to calm the mind. Some will do it by just breathing, some will do it by running, some will do it by cycling, some will do it by swimming, some will do it by singing or repeating a mantra. So you find what works for you. Absolutely. If it quiets you your mind, it, slows you down. At least once a day. Mm -hmm. And if you can, twice a day. The best time is when you wake up or before you go to sleep. Mm -hmm. But the second best time is any time that works for you. There is a wristband on your 
hand called the Well Bee. This is my latest uh, baby and product. Too, Very it. cute. It's from Cork. You can see it's in colors, oh, you, in black, in brown, in uh, natural. And it's a biofeedback device. It's always on you. Measure you every hour. You don't know exactly when. And it will tell you in the app. So you can check in and see if that you're at Every a hour, level. what was your stress? And at the end of the day, you can learn what, what were the triggers for your stress. The beautiful thing about it is that he learns you and he will advise you what kind of meditations, breathing technique or uh, calm music. And also what it is at your lowest stress point. Like, what are you doing at that point? Just do more of it. <laughs> exactly. Let's do, let's do really the breathing okay. before and eight and see how effective it is. Everyone can join us and do it right now. So we close our eyes. It doesn't have to be. We need to sit in a way that feels comfortable. And we just breathe in four and breathe out eight. And breathe in four and breathe out eight and four in and eight out you can do it from the nose or from the mouth four in and eight out and look at the results. You can open your eyes right now. And we went down to 40. And really, by doing it alone, not with cameras and with <laughs> audience around us, you can go down to calmness. What's your goal? For Daily. Me, for me, I want to achieve calmness when I do this practice and calmness is 25 and below. I love this. Where, where can we get these from? Like, so at the you... site, thewellbe.com, you can mm -hmm. order it. Uh, it's beautiful, mm -hmm. a present for the holidays. <laughs> and, and really, if we have somebody in our family that we feel that is... Oh, I need know, to give these out. I have 10 siblings. I'm number amazing, 11, so I think amazing. I need to get 11 of them. Amazing. <laughs> where can we find more about you and your practices. I know for local people, we can find you here at the Hall Center. So the local people can come. Mm -hmm. I will talk on a monthly basis here at the Hall Center mm -hmm. and uh, they can go to the site, thewholecenter.com. Uh, my site called themementoschannel.com. We have 2,000 meditations. So each one can find There's what works for him. For everybody. Exactly. And they can have a membership and uh, enjoy everything. Uh, my program's called walkyourpath.com. And the idea is really to connect you to who you are and what you want and how you want to live your life. Kind of imagination, guided imagination of the best day in your life, an ideal day. Then we extend it to a week and we help you get from where you are now to your ideal life or ideal day. I love it. I really believe that most people put goals and when they achieve the goals, they ask, okay, what's next? Mm -hmm. And there is another goal, and another goal, and another goal. And at the end of their life, when they look back, they see that the goals were milestones in their path. Absolutely. So it's so important just to know, this is my path, and I walk my path. And I do it by going through life with the goal to achieve this ideal day. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much. Thank you for what you're doing here at the Hall Center. Thank you for millions of people you're going to help thank watching so this much. today. And find your meditation because it absolutely makes a huge difference in not only your health, but your everyday life, of course. So thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you Perfect. for the meditation. Thank you so much. Happy to Four be here. Four in, eight out. Yes. <laughs>